Now to the road sign that is drivers doing a double take. Notice something a little off about the spelling of Beechnut Street? That misspelled sign is located right off the West Loop South in Meyerlands. Caught lots of people's attention. One of our viewers called to tell us about it. Our Ryan Korsgaard spoke with the drivers and also the text dot about this typo. He's live in Meyerland tonight with what they had to say. Ryan? No, you can imagine some people driving by and they see it. Others have been driving by for years. They say they have never seen this. Regardless, they say spell check might be a good idea. It is one of those staple roads in Houston, Beechnut. It crosses several of our major highways. We all know the spelling. B-E-E-C-H-N-U-T? Correct. B-E-E-C-H-N-U-T. Pretty confident. Yeah. B-E-E-C-H-N-U-T? Pretty sure about that. Uh-huh. We asked because down the street, they misspelled the name. Oh, they do? Like on the street sign? Yep, right up there on the permanent green street sign. On this sign on the West Loop South approaching Beechnut, it is spelled B-E-E-C-H-U-N-U-T. Beechnut. No, that's wrong. Think we can do better? I think we can. Perhaps we learned everything that applies here from another famous street, Sesame Street. One of these things is not like the others. One no, it is not. Court McMurray has lived in the area for 33 years. Ever seen it spelled like that? Never. The sign first popped up on social media with tweets asking that someone fix this typo. Some say there is plenty of confusion already on our roads. Really confusing, just like the whole 6959 um, situation on the highway. So this sign with the extra U is enough to annoy you and me. Can we do better? I think so. Yes, I know so. So we called TxDOT, which promised to check it out. For now, don't let that extra U throw you off course. We need to um, be more aware, I think, for uh, directional purposes. And we checked with TxDOT. They say they're checking right now to see if this sign is, in fact, theirs. If they find out it is, it could take several weeks to replace it. We're live today. Ryan Korsgaard, KPRC, Channel 2 News.